Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video and yes, of course, another ADC because of the community post that I made. But before starting this video, I want to say that um, I, I want to make more ADC videos. So I'm going to give you guys a chance to pick which one you want between Ezreal and Vayne. And all you got to do is put the name Vayne or Ezreal in your comment. Duplicate comments are not going to count, but basically you can write whatever you want, but just put Vayne or Ezreal in your comment and whichever gets the most I'll make a video of you know I'll, I'll just learn the champion and I'll play them okay also you know I'm doing a skin giveaway so make sure you put down a comment under this video all right um now I'm going to be explaining to you what to build on Jinx and if you want to skip out the build part of course timestamps in the description so Jinx build um I tried some different builds and this is still the best one so you start with a blade of the rune king like with this item it's just you know, it's just such a good item. You're going to be able to get enemies pretty low for your teammates. Like when the enemies have full HP, you're going to do a lot of damage to them because it deals 6% of their current HP damage. And um, like sometimes I start with an infinity edge. Now, I only recommend you to start with an infinity edge if the enemies are very, very squishy. Like if all the enemy champions are very squishy, then you can actually start with an infinity edge. But that build is actually different. So if the enemy is very squishy, you start with an infinity edge and then you go into Rune and Zero King, you actually don't even build the blade of the rune king but 95 percent of the times you'll want to start with a blade of the rune king after the blade of the rune king make sure you buy boots you know don't forget to buy boots and then you can get an infinity edge so um about the tier two boots i actually always go for glutinous griefs unless the enemy has a lot of ability power or a lot of attack damage if they have a lot of attack damage i st i go for plated steel caps if they have a lot of ability power or a lot of stuns for example or silences I go for Mercury threats, but again, 90% of the times, Glutinous Griefs. So I don't really go for enchantment yet, unless we're against a Z or a Fizz, for example. If that's the case, I go for your Stasis Enchant. If they don't have annoying champions like that, I just go immediately into my Rune and Hurricane. And this is your big power spike, This these three items, you know? And after these three items, it's situational. Do you need a rapid, like, do you need range? Get a rapid fire cannon. By the way, I really recommend you to get a rapid fire cannon. This is such a good one on Jinx because of the rocket. You know, you can shoot one big rocket before the fight starts. Do you really need survivability? Get Guardian Angel. But let me tell you one thing. I actually only recommend you to get Guardian Angel if you need the bonus armor as well. Because Guardian Angel is not really an amazing item on Jinx. So as I said, if the enemy has a lot of attack damage, then you should go for Guardian Angel. If they don't, don't go for it. So you can also get Phantom Dancer. Where is this item? Yeah, here it is. Phantom Dancer. This is also a really, really nice item on Jinx. Um, but I only recommend you to go for Phantom Dancer instead of a Rapid Fire Cannon. So when is a Phantom Dancer better than a Rapid Fire Cannon? Let me explain. This item is better if the enemy has a lot of diving champions. And if you really feel like you need the bonus, uh, bonus shield that it gives you. So only go for Phantom Dancer if the enemy has a lot of, like, a lot of diving champions. Like Evelyn, Katarina, Akali, you know, like crazy dive champions. Okay, so um, about the runes. Obviously Conqueror, you know, always go for Conqueror. And here it depends. I like to go for Gathering Storm, you know, just for that crazy late game damage. But you can also go for Brutal, which is going to secure you early game damage. Now, I have seen some people run Champion Rune on Jinx, but it doesn't really make sense, to be honest. Like, you know, don't go for Champion Rune. I don't really recommend it. It's just not good on Jinx. Cause, like, you're not really going to snowball on Jinx. You kind of want to skill into the late game. So either Gathering Storm or Brutal. Now here... <clears throat> I almost always go for Spirit Walker. Unless the enemy has a lot of stuns, then I go for Hunter Titan, you know? Um, if they don't, I just go for Spirit Walker. I almost always go for Spirit Walker. And here, as you fourth through, like, I changed my mind about Sweet Tooth. I never go for Sweet Tooth on Jinx anymore. I always, always, always go for Mastermind. And there's actually a few reasons for that. Let me tell you why. First of all, of course, you take turrets faster. You get more gold, you take turrets faster, you get experience from turrets. Like, as you can see, you deal 10% bonus through damage, you get extra 100 gold and extra 500 experience. But let me tell you the thing that's actually more OP about this Mastermind, which is it increases, obviously, it increases your damage by 10%. So your ultimate also deals 10% more damage. Yeah, you got it right. So this is going to allow you to 
you know, to steal objectives way easier than normal because your ultimate literally deals 10% more damage. So instead of, for example, 2000 damage, it deals 2200 damage, which is huge. This 200 damage can be the big difference between you either steal the dragon or you don't. So always go for mastermind. As your spells, of course, flash and barrier. Let's get into the gameplay. All right, on to the gameplay. So let's talk about Jinx. Um, this champion, I actually have so much to say about Jinx as well, because if you don't play Jinx the right way, you're going to feel like Jinx is useless. Really, trust me. Like if you if you don't play Jinx the right way, she's going to be absolutely useless. Um, and the reason for that is because like when you get behind on Jinx, her kit is really, really bad when you're behind. You really need to get like um, be even with your enemy because if you're behind, the enemy is just going to dumpster you. So obviously the way that you got to play Jinx is make sure you don't get behind. So I'm going to give you tips on how to do that. It's not, it's kind of hard to win early game as a Jinx. Like Jinx is not designed for the early game, but the way that you can, you know, um, the way that you can not lose early game is, as you can see what I'm doing now, use your rockets in lane to trade. If you do that, you should be able to damage the enemies a lot. Obviously, you're probably going to take damage too, but at least you're going to be okay. You know, you're not going to lose heart because if you don't use your rockets in the early game, you're probably going to get poked really hard. Actually, our enemy already has first blood. Wow, it's insane. So as you can see, like I'm playing safe when I have to, but look, boom, this is what you want to do. Take a look at this. I got the Zaya at like 20% HP. This is exactly how you play Jinx in the early game. Play her safe. But, you know, do damage when you can. Her first two abilities are basically what's going to allow you to do okay in the early game. Obviously, the rocket and the second ability. These are the two things that you need. And as you can see, we actually have a Zix support. And because we have a Zix support, we can actually win the early game. You know, it's very interesting. Like, we have a Zix support. With this support, you can actually win the early game with a Jinx. Because, obviously, Zix is going to do huge damage. <clears throat> Okay, so um, I'm going to be telling you a lot of important late game things uh, about Jinx later on in this video, you know, keep that in mind. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content. I make all these daily gameplay videos, you know, and I, I, was, I was a challenger player in the first season, so it's pretty good gameplay as well. So yeah, keep that in mind. Also, remember to comment down Vayne or Ezreal, you know, I wonder which one you guys want to see first so I can actually start practicing him now. Okay, so take a look. Boom! Look, we're actually winning the lane. With a Jinx, look at this. Oh, I actually overextended here. It's okay though, but I did kind of overextend. Let's take a look at what's gonna happen. Oh, she flashed away. We can't. Unfortunately, I can't really chase her. It's too risky. Like I would have definitely died if I flashed over the wall, but I don't know if I would have killed her, so I just didn't do it. So in a situation like this, where the enemy is super low, you just want to push the lane and go back. So what am I doing? Pushing the lane and going back. So the enemy is going to lose farm like this and I'm going to go back, you know, I, I go back. Like as you can see, 2.4k gold and the enemy had way less gold than me. This is perfect. Really, really, really good early game as a Jinx. Of course, it's better if you can kill the enemy. But if you do this in the early game, it's a big win. Big, big win as a Jinx player. Okay, actually there's an exception. You can absolutely demolish Vayne in your lane, okay? That's the only exception. Like you, pro like, you probably... You can be even in any lane, except for Vayne. You have to win against Vayne, because it's such an easy matchup. <clears throat> okay, so look at this. I'm freezing. I'm, I'm kind of freezing the lane now. Why? Because if the Zaya oversteps, of course, I'm going to shoot my rockets at her. And she lost some farm here. You know, she lost some farm. But now that the Braum is here, you know, I'm like, okay, what should I do? Probably just fight and push the lane. And here I actually traded really badly, but we still did fine. You know, we still did fine because of my rockets and because Zix support as well. Actually, Pantheon is here. I gotta be a little careful, but I still have my I still have my barrier, so I should be fine. So here it's kind of questionable what I should do. I can get a Blade of the Rune King, but the dragon is spawning. I take the risky path. I'm going for the Blade of the Rune King, and I just hope my team doesn't fight. This is very risky, but this is the right call if your team doesn't fight. Um, as a Jinx, you should always be able to get a Blade of the Rune King before first dragon. Always, unless they like, unless they kill you in the early game, which obviously shouldn't happen. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You know, um, you want to be even in lane, farm well, so you can get your blade of the Rune king before first dragon. And if you get the blade of the Rune king before the first dragon, you're gonna be pretty strong. Not very strong, but pretty strong. 
okay and in a situation like this we can actually fight like we can actually fight in, in this situation as you can see like i'm just starting the dragon because i want to fight so a good mo a good way to force a fight is you can just start the dragon because then they have to go in right and here i was pretty sure like we can win this fight we have support zix and i have my item and we should be fine <clears throat> by the way it's very important to like analyze your composition analyze the enemy composition and think can we win or can we not win as you can see here i'm just kind of going on the darius you know keeping him away they are diving very deep though i, I don't really want to go that far here it should be a free kill take a look at this i have my ultimate boom easy kill on the darius and now just get the dragon when you kill the enemy jungler like we did here just get the dragon like don't don't waste your time on the fight i see this so often look well he actually didn't even smite it but what i mean is when you kill the enemy jungler in a situation like this please guys don't chase for the kills oh my god i hate it when players do that don't chase for the kills just get the dragon secure the dragon it's it happens so often that I see it in my ranked matches where people just chase for the kills. You know, they're like, yeah, I can get more kills. And what, end up, what ends up happening is the ones that you killed in the beginning, they respawn, buy items, and they kill us. This is like so stupid. Keep this in your mind, guys. If you kill the enemy jungler or if you have like a big enough advantage that you can completely destroy them in a fight, get the dragon please get the dragon it's a free dragon why the hell would you chase kills especially in the early game because um the death timers are very low it's like 15 seconds or something like as i said the first enemies that you killed before are gonna respawn buy items and they will be super strong against you so please guys i'm, I'm I, I said it like three times already but i'm gonna say it one more time don't chase kills if it's not necessary like as you saw what I did in the dragon, I just focused the dragon, no chasing the kills, and we got the dragon. That's what you need to do, okay? Done. I said it four times now, so I really hope I put it in your head enough. <clears throat> okay, um, here, like, look, the way we're, what we're doing is I'm just kind of zoning them with my rocket. Now, you can only do this if you're ahead in the game. If you're not ahead in the game, you're probably not going to be able to zone them with your rockets. Because what the enemies can do is they can just fully engage on you and kill you. So, be careful with that. Like, the way that I'm playing now is only working because we're ahead. Like, as you can see, they're going in hard on us. But the only reason that it's working oh, is because we are ahead. Okay? Keep that in mind. Don't do this if you're not ahead. If like, if we did this if we're not ahead, then the Brom ultimate plus the Zaya would have completely destroyed us. But the only reason we won was because we were ahead. And this is also a thing that you really need to do on Jinx. When you're ahead, stay ahead. How do you do it? Your rockets. Your rockets are the best tool to stay ahead in a game. You know, because of course you're going to have big range. You're going to deal so much damage to the enemy. And when you're ahead, the enemy is not going to outdamage you. So make sure you snowball the game when you're ahead. You know, use your rockets. <clears throat> okay, here I actually decided to go for the Runan's Hurricane. Because I had 900 gold. So I was unable to get a BF sword. But I was able to get the attack speed item for 900 gold. That's why I actually went for, went for it. Because now I have bonus 30% attack speed. So here, as you can see, I'm not going for the red buff. Why? Because my lane is getting pushed and I don't want to lose lane minions for the red buff. It's not worth it. Because lane minions are actually worth a lot. And I can get the red buff later anyways, right? Like, I can push this wave now and get the red buff. So keep that in mind as well when you want to take jungle camps. Don't do it if you lose minions. Minions are more important than jungle camps. Please, guys, understand this. Don't take jungle if you can take minions. Especially if they're under your turret. As you can see here, I'm just, you know, now that I pushed my lane, now I can get the minions. Easy peasy. And this is actually a thing that I don't see many people do as well. Is as an ADC, you can actually farm the jungle too if you have nothing to do. Like as you can see, um, I don't have minions in my lane yet. So what do I do? I just farm the jungle, you know, I get the minions. He actually took it. So dumb. I don't really know why he took it. Actually, it's such an idiotic move by him. I have Runan's Hurricane. Imagine how good Runan's Hurricane with a red buff would be. Wow. So the Lee Sin actually trolled me so hard. Oh my god. At least he's... Yeah. He actually trolled me so hard. That's so stupid. As a jungler, you know, when your ADC is super ahead, you obviously want to give your red buff to them. Don't be like this Lee Sin, okay? Don't be an... Uh, 
Yeah, don't be like him. So here the dragon is up. What do we want to do? Fight. But they're going in without me. Look at this. What are they doing? I mean, okay, they still killed them, but it was kind of risky. It was kind of risky. Like the enemies could have potentially turned on them. In a situation like this, you kind of want to 5v5, you know? Make sure you keep your uh, make sure you keep snowballing and that's how you do that with a 5v5 because if you go 2v5 like my team did right now it's kind of risky like it's kind of risky they could have lost that fight and if they lost that fight it would have been an absolute disaster because they would have given like 1k gold bounties to the enemies which is obviously huge you don't want to do that so um okay some things to note when you're ahead in a game like we are right now is bounties your whole team has huge bounties on their head. So you might think that you're super ahead, but all the enemy has to do is kill you one time. And when they kill you one time, they're gonna get thousands of gold. Thousands, it's actually huge. The bounty system is like so insane right now. If you kill an enemy that has like a lot of kills and assists, you're gonna get so much gold. So keep that in mind. Don't die, <laughs> don't die. Oh, so close actually. Brom dodged it beautifully. Damn. So here again, you know what I can do? Use my rockets to poke him because we're ahead. Oh, the Pantheon is actually coming. Yeah, this is risky. Like, look, look, look. Uy, uy, uy. There is the first bounty. There is the first bounty that we gave them. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Look at what I'm doing here. Super risky. I have no energy at all. Wow. We're kind of overextending here. We should definitely go back. I don't know what I'm doing here. Wow. Like, look at how stupid I was here. Oh, my God. I was overextending for so long. And I was super lucky that I didn't get punished. <clears throat> okay. So, here I'm actually pushing again. I don't really know why. Because it's so risky. It's true that I'm applying a lot of pressure. But if they decided to gank me, it would have been a disaster because I would have given them like a 700 gold bounty or something. So now, of course, my team is here. I can fight, right? Only because my team is here. Where the hell did the Braum go, though? I don't even know where the Braum went. <laughs> he actually just escaped. What a legend. <clears throat> okay, so um, another thing to note about Jinx is your third ability. Like, many people don't make good use of it. Let me tell you some ways that you can actually effectively use Jinx's third ability. Of course, first way that you can use it is... Wait, let's take a look at this ultimate though. Look at me calculating. Like, my brain is working and... Easy kill. Before talking about my third ability, let me talk about the ultimate. Like, always pay attention to the map. You know, when an enemy is low, of course, it's just a free kill with your ultimate. Always pay attention. Okay, back to the third ability. So, first good way to use your third ability is... I'm going to give you an example. Let's say enemy Alistar dives in. What can you do? Throw your third ability behind the Alistar. And, you know, the Alistar cannot escape. Or, she, uh, or the Alistar has to walk all the way around it, which is likely going to cost the Alistar a lot of time. Another example, enemy Lee Sin dives in. He dives in. Use your third ability so it's very hard for them to escape. Basically, if an enemy dives in, use your third ability behind them. Okay, another way is if, you f like, if you're getting close to an enemy, throw your third ability behind them so they can't escape, right? Because when you throw your third ability behind them, they cannot go through it because they get rooted. Another way that you can use your third ability is when you're escaping. You can throw your third ability like on, on yourself while you're running away or a little ahead of yourself and then of course the enemy either has to run through it which is going to root them or run around it and when they run around it you're going to be able to escape right so these are some good ways to use it i got the turret i got the bonus attack speed and i'm utilizing the bonus and take a look at this oh this is also another tip that i have for you on jinx oh my god i just gave a bounty to to Zaya. Oh my god. Look at what we did. We just gave huge bounties. Even though we aced them. Even though we aced them. We just gave the Zaya. Probably like 2000 gold. Now. Okay. Is this worth it? Or is this not worth it? Honestly. It's kind of hard to decide. We're going to get the inhibitor turret. But. You know, I, I would okay. I would still say that this is worth it. It's, it's worth it, but it's it's not amazing, because the Zaya is 
the Zaya has a lot of gold now, right? So it's worth it. Like as I said, it's worth it. But okay, another thing to note here, huh? So it's true that we got the inhibitor turret, but getting the mid lane inhibitor turret is not always amazing. Now the reason for that is because it's in the mid lane. So it's gonna be very easy for the enemies to actually um, push back. And what happened is now our minion wave gives them a lot of gold and experience because it has the big minion which gives 120 gold and a lot of experience so what can the enemy do they can just farm there oh take a look at this fight though oh my god oh double kill just absolutely smacking them but that's not it easy dodge ultimate oh my god so damn clean is it the penta this stupid Lee Sin stole my pentakill. And there goes the clickbait title. There goes the clickbait title. All because of this Lee Sin. Okay? You're, you're almost on my ma You're almost on the Yi tier right now. I hate this Lee Sin. I hate this Lee Sin. Okay? He just stole my pentakill. Like, like... Why? 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 Why would you steal it? Why? Tell me why. Okay, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm bringing out ADC videos only. Like, what the hell is happening? Huh? <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for watching. Take a look at this. Actually, my whole team did pretty well. Whoa, okay. I, okay, I just ended the video already. Well, <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next Wild Drift video. Bye-bye.